One of the questions I often get is, well, Bishop, we trust you, which I appreciate that. We trust you, but what about the next bishop? You know, well, first off, it does look like, well, that's six years from now, first off. Um, but what about that next bishop? You know, as I think about that, um, I was trying to add up how many years I think we've had pretty consistent leadership in Missouri through uh, Bishop Shear, Bishop Stacy, Bishop Farr, all kind of pretty much consistently going the same direction. I think it's a pretty deep understanding of Missouri and culture, how we want to operate as a group, how we see things as a group, how we want to approach uh, appointments and how we want to treat each other. You know, I think if our culture is well uh, kind of ingrained in who we are and who we want to be, uh, it's hard to imagine somebody coming in after what's that, 12, 24, 32 years and absolutely going the opposite direction of that. Now, I suppose it's possible, but that would be hard and they might not last very long. I know that Missouri would tolerate that. So I'm not too terrible worried about that. And you would hope, friends, you're going to elect people uh, at this one or the next uh, jurisdictional conference that they would go seeking somebody who, in fact, would match the very things that, in our approach that we use in Missouri. So it wouldn't be a, a wildly different approach to how we appoint people in our approach that has uh, kind of, you may or may not, our approach of being pretty flexible uh, with folks uh, and not mandating things. Uh, you would hope that's what they would go looking for. I, I can't promise that's what would happen. There's always a risk when you change leadership that things go, and some things probably need to go a little different direction. But I think there's a pretty deep culture in Missouri that would be hard to change a big radical course uh, with the, uh, the appointment of a different bishop.